It is one of the most spectacular sights in the animal kingdom. A shimmering, iridescent fan of sapphire blue, emerald green, and burnished gold, crowned with a hundred hypnotic eyes. The train of a male peacock is evolution as high art. But this breathtaking beauty is a profound and dangerous puzzle. This magnificent appendage is not designed for survival. It is heavy, making flight awkward and laborious. It is cumbersome, snagging on undergrowth. And most of all, it is a massive, vibrant target, practically screaming to predators like tigers and leopards. Here I am. By all the conventional rules of natural selection, this beautiful, impractical design should have vanished long ago. So why does it exist? Because this isn't a tool for survival. It's the ultimate billboard in nature's most extreme advertising campaign. To understand this living paradox, we must explore a counterintuitive idea known as the handicap principle. The theory suggests that the tail's incredible costliness, its sheer, dangerous impracticality, is precisely the point. It serves as an undeniably honest signal of genetic quality. The message the male peacock sends to the discerning female, the peahen, is brutally simple. I am so strong, so fast, and so genetically superior that I can not only survive, but thrive while carrying this absurdly dangerous and expensive ornament. He is flaunting his ability to waste resources and defy danger. Only the absolute fittest males can grow such a vibrant, symmetrical and massive train and still manage to find food and evade predators. A weaker, less healthy male could never manage it. The tail, therefore, becomes a guarantee of quality that cannot be faked. It's a signal of such profound honesty precisely because it is so expensive to produce and so perilous to own. But the genius of this evolutionary masterpiece goes deeper than its size and risk. It extends to the very physics of light itself. The breathtaking colors that mesmerize us, they are an illusion. There is no blue pigment, no green pigment, no bronze pigment in these feathers. If you were to grind one down, you would be left with a dull, brownish powder made mostly of keratin. The same protein in your hair and fingernails. The color is not chemical, it is structural. This is a feat of natural nanotechnology. Each feather barb is covered in microscopic, crystal-like structures made of melanin and keratin. These structures are arranged in a precise, repeating pattern specifically sized and spaced to interfere with visible light. When light waves hit these nanostructures, some wavelengths are reflected, while others are cancelled out. The shimmering emeralds and deep sapphires you see are the result of light being masterfully filtered and reflected. This is why the colors shift and shimmer with the slightest change in viewing angle. It is not a painting. It is a living prism an architecture of light. And the peacock is a master performer. He does not just possess this work of art, he wields it. The courtship ritual is a calculated display of mesmerizing beauty and physical stamina. When a peahen approaches, the male fans his train into its iconic arch, a wall of over 150 specialized feathers. He begins to vibrate them creating a low-frequency hum and causing the eye spots to shimmer and appear to float against the iridescent background. These eye spots are the focal point of the entire performance. The male strategically angles and quivers his train to maximize their hypnotic effect, drawing the female's gaze. For the peahen, this is no mere spectacle. It is a rigorous inspection. She is a discerning critic assessing the number of eye spots, their symmetry, their color vibrancy, and the male's energy. A long, dazzling performance is proof of his health and strength. A full, symmetrical set of vibrant eye spots 
speaks to a superior genetic code. Her choice is not based on aesthetics alone. It is a cold, hard, evolutionary calculation. The peacock's tail exists at the dramatic intersection of two powerful evolutionary forces, the struggle for survival and the drive to reproduce. It is a monument to the fact that in the grand game of life, passing on your genes is the ultimate prize. And for the peacock, this meant evolving a feature that favors beauty over safety, attraction over practicality. It is a living, shimmering testament to how the bizarre logic of sexual selection can create a design that is so beautifully, so gloriously, and so successfully impractical. To continue exploring the marvels of the natural world, subscribe to Animal Insight 360 and join us on the next journey.